Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, we are going to discuss the modes of dehiscence of anthers. Lobes of an anther dehisce to expose the pollen grains by following methods now the major methods are first one is longitudinal second one is transverse Third one is porous. Fourth one is volvular. And the fifth one is irregular. So first of all, we'll discuss the longitudinal and longitudinal method long slit appears lengthwise on anther lobe the examples include citrus datura mustard and ranunculus now depending on the location of this longitudinal slit this can be further classified into three types first one is intrors second one is laterors and the third one is extrors if the location of slit is on lateral side location of longitudinal slit is on lateral side then it will be intrors depending on the location of longitudinal slit this can be further classified into three subtypes first one is intrors second one is laterors and third one is extrors intrors laterors and extrors location of slit is on inner side inner side means towards gynecium laterals means on lateral side while extrals means on outer side that is towards the petals now this type of stamen 
Now this type of dehiscence is found in entomophilus flowers. Now this type of dehiscence is found in entomophilus flowers only while extrors type is found in entomophilus and anemophilus flowers both now the next one is transverse type of dehiscence in transverse type of dehiscence anther lobes burst by slits breathwise the examples include lady's finger and althea this is the transfer slit now the next one is porous type this one is porous type now the pores will be developed on the anther wall from which the pollen grains will come out so in this type of dehiscence small pores develop on the anther wall from which the pollen grains are shed the examples include solanum tomato and cassia now the next type is volvular type of dehiscence in volvular type of dehiscence valve or flaps are developed this is a flap this is a flap so the flaps or valves are developed from which the pollen grains are exposed so anther wall breaks up at places and get lifted to form valve like structures then this will expose the pollen grains the examples include camphor and barberry the last one is irregular type of dehiscence in this type anther wall breaks irregularly without any pattern the examples include najas so these are the various types of dehiscence of anthers that is longitudinal transverse porous valvular and irregular thanks for watching this video